This video presented by the Tri-Valley Career Center is about beating the ATS or the Applicant Tracking System. How to create a computer-friendly resume. In this video, I will walk you through how to take a resume that has been created for networking and how to make it friendly for a computer. This is what a computer-friendly resume looks like. As you can see, everything is aligned off to the left. Bold is used for emphasis, but there's no underlining. Very simple bullets, no borders, nothing fancy. It's very easy to read. And as you can see, length doesn't really matter. It can keep going on to the whole page. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to take a networking resume and turn it into a resume like this. Here is more of a human-friendly resume. As we can see, the skills section is in columns like this because human eyes will naturally gravitate towards that as the visual center of the page. However, a computer is going to get confused by the columns, and the computer might only read the first column and ignore the rest. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix the formatting for this resume to make it look like the ATS-friendly or computer-friendly resume. The first thing you will want to do is you'll want to eliminate any underlining like this. Also, any little lines like this might be confusing, so I would suggest just having one headline that is basically the job title of the job that you're looking for, and you can put that here just below your name. I also suggest getting rid of these lines here that separate information or any kind of symbols. Those would be difficult for the computer to read. And then everything in an ATS resume is aligned to the left. So I'm going to highlight everything here and I'm going to go to the home button. I'm using Microsoft Word and I'm going to click on the align left. So now everything's off to the left. The other thing that ATS likes is it likes to have a specific contact information section. All right, so as you can see, now we have a contact information section right here, and we are going to then change our section titles so that they're similar to this. And with ATS, it might be helpful, since we can't use underlining or italics, we can use all caps and bold in order to make our titles stand out. I'm also going to ch change some of the titles because We'll change professional summary to just summary. We'll change highlighted skills to just skills because ATS systems will tend to look for these specific section titles. Also, education and training are always going to be in separate sections. So this is formal education, which I'm going to leave here. And then special trainings, I'm going to put in another section down here. And let me make sure that that's the same size as my other titles. Yes, full point font. Okay, and then last but not least, we will make the volunteer experience section with that same section format. Next, we want to change and make sure that we have no columns or tables. So right now we have columns in the skills section, so we're going to highlight those columns. And then if we go to page layout, we'll click on columns. We can see currently this is in three columns. I'm going to change it to one column. And then I'm going to put just regular bullet points here. And we can even use these simplified document bullet points. Next, we are going to go down to the work experience section. ATS does not like italics, so we are going to remove the italics. And ATS also wants to have the company name above the job title, so we're going to move that. Also, the date will go below all of that. And then we want to remove the italics from the date. 
And I would suggest also de-emphasizing the date by just making it this like this. We also want to make sure we have the complete year for all of our jobs. We can still use regular bullet points like this, so that's fine. All right, I've made those changes for all of my jobs. I've made sure that the spacing is regular and I have made sure to have two digits for the month and four digits for the year for each position. Notice how when we have a job at the same company, even if we have two different jobs there, we still have two different sections rather than combining them into one section. Some other things that you should consider is in your education and training section, you wanna make sure that you don't have any abbreviations. For example, you wouldn't want to have written AS like this. You would want it written out as Associate of Science. Also for your dates, make sure that you are using four digits for the year and two digits for the month. In addition, if you have a footer for your resume, you're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So here I have a footer. I'm going to go to the insert footer section and I'm going to edit the footer and I'm going to just delete that. And I can click out of the footer by double clicking. I can also edit the footer by double clicking on the footer and then get out of that by double clicking out here. So those are all of the different things to consider for your ATS resume. Keep in mind that for education, if you're still completing it, you can write in progress. And then for dates, usually you wanna keep dates that are five years back. You never wanna put anything that's more than 10 years on your resume. And then the most important thing is you wanna make sure that you're using keywords from the job announcement. So here is the job announcement. This resume is being used to apply for a job at Starbucks as a barista in Dublin and so you can see that the person's gone through and highlighted all of the keywords and qualifications that they have and that they can put into their resume and just so you can see this visually here's the ATS resume with all of those same keywords highlighted in it so you'll notice that it's, these keywords are used in the summary the skills section and in the bullet points that describe each position. So these keywords are used throughout the posting and throughout the resume. And that's how you format your resume to make it computer friendly and readable by an ATS or an applicant tracking system. For more information, you can consult our tip sheet, which includes numbers corresponding to the different sections and instructions on the back, which show you what are some special instructions for each of those sections. Congratulations! You've just finished the tri -Valley Career Center's video tutorial on beating the applicant tracking system and creating a computer-friendly resume.